Hey everyone, it's Andrew, and actually I wanted us to take a quick look at Google Analytics today because I'm finding out, especially recently, that a lot of people are either A, not using it, or B, not using it anywhere near the capacity that you can use it. And, and I can tell you right now, it's much more profitable for you to work with them and use their tools, which are all free, as opposed to trying to game them and work against them. Like I right now, currently, today, am making far more money working with them and using their tools than trying to work against them. So that's my opinion and it's free so unless you're making a lot of money and you can spend it on different paid monthly tools just use Google Analytics and Google uh, Webmasters and we'll get into Webmasters in another video I just wanted to talk about Google Analytics because there's so much powerful things here and people don't seem to go beyond the audience tab which is where we are right now this is the, the like the general overview and I find that you know, 50% of people seem to never really go far this. And this is just showing you traffic. And what we're looking at right here, this is a great example. This is a solo ad that I ran a few weeks ago, I guess. Yeah, a few weeks ago now. And I had a whole bunch of things set up for it. So I want to show you a few things that you can implement almost right away for your own business. And some of, some of these you may be aware of. Some of them you may, be, you may not. Uh, they're all unbelievable to use, and I recommend that you do that. So let's take a look at some of the more interesting features. Well, right off the bat, traffic sources is huge. And if we go to the overview tab, again, that's going to show us basically just the split of your referral traffic, direct traffic, and campaigns. But it gets interesting when we go into sources. And what it's showing us here, you see at the top here, it says source and medium. And then it's got these two, uh, two words on each line, right? And what this corresponds to is in the Google, the Google has its own URL builder. Uh, if you actually go to Google, if we went to Google right now, and you type URL, type URL tool, it's going to be the first thing that comes up. Whoops. There we go. It's going to be the first thing. So just go to Google, type URL tool, and then it says URL builder. Just pick that. And that's what this is right here. And this thing is unbelievable. And almost no one seems to either know about it or use it. But basically what you do is you put your website in here. So let's just, I'll just use my home page. As an example. So you put your website, this is where you where the link is going. And then you have all these different boxes here and it tells you what, the, what you can put in here. So you have campaign source, which is re like the refer, where, where it's coming from. Campaign medium, the marketing medium campaign term, any keywords, the content used to differentiate ads and promo products. So so that's what, so you see here source and medium. So in my analytics, source and medium, that's what this correlates to. So this these correlate to URLs that I built and I customized with these terms so I could track them. So you can, you don't need to use, I mean a lot of people use Prosper 202 and tools like that and that's fine if you're an affiliate and you're only promoting affiliate products then uh, you know Prosper 202 is fine but if you're a product owner and it's your website or, or you have control over all the landing pages and everything uh, use Google Analytics because you can build your own URLs you can put in your own information and these same uh, terms will actually filter through into all of these reports into all of these different sections so it's actually gold so if you're doing a campaign you fill in your you use this tool you fill in your information so source so just say just say we were doing I don't know a Facebook campaign so you put Facebook or FB uh, medium uh, CPC because it would be a uh, cost per click so the term so some keyword for that ad just say it's uh, I don't know online business uh, campaign so something to differentiate the ad so just say this is the one with the red border okay and then campaign name uh, you know I know I use a number here so you you know if this is the first one you could say 001 or one or you know something like that or, or you could name it like uh, revised or, or something like anything like that I mean you come up with it track it in Excel or track it in a spreadsheet so you when you do see it in your analytics report you can refer back to it and you know what everything is because this will I mean this will be key this is not only in split testing because you can do a lot of split testing this way too um, and it doesn't cost anything so then you hit generate URL and it's gonna give you this URL and you, and you see it's got all the information and in. so if we copy it and then we go to it 
See, now this stuff is all going to now show in for andrewhiddleston.com. If I went into my Google Analytics, it would show this in the, in this section here. And I can you can put on different dimensions too. I mean that you're not just limited you're not just limited to those two. This, that's just the default too. But I mean look at the information it shows uh, visits, a uh, duration, new visits, bounce rate, and it's all broken up by that campaign URL so you can track it back to exactly what that content was. And again, this isn't costing anything. This is completely free to, free to use. So that's the URL tool. I highly recommend you do it even if you're just if you have a blog and you're you know, doing any type of marketing or any type of advertising, you need to be using this. If you're not using this, you need to be. So that's the first thing, the URL tool and how that correlates back into the analytics. The next thing, actually I'll say I'll save what I think is the best for last. I'll I'll save what what I think most people don't even realize is in here for last and we'll go to conversions and goals. And you need to be setting goals. And basically what goals are is it's essentially like a milestone so for example for this campaign like I said this was this was a um, a solo ad campaign so the goal was obviously sales it was a sa it was a funnel it was a sales funnel and the goal was obviously to make sales with it so that's what this was measuring so I can look right into my Google Analytics after I pay I pay the amount for the solo ad I can track it right in my Google Analytics and determine if I'm profitable or not and this is just front-end sales and this campaign cost me the the traffic for this cost me two hundred and twenty five dollars I made two hundred and twenty one dollars and I've already made about a hundred and seventy dollars on the back end which isn't in this that's actually the back end is through email in a different campaign but you, that's almost a hundred and sixty percent ROI and again I'm tracking it all in Google Analytics and it's not costing me anything and it's not hard to do you just have to set it up in advance so this is this is all you basically what I did was when you first come in you'll have to set one up so what I what I did was I basically said the goal was when people hit this URL which was the chance to upgrade when people hit the upgrade URL that was termed a completion in a sale because essentially if you're getting to the upgrade page you've already purchased the front end product if you're if you have a chance to upgrade it right so that that's what was measuring uh, a conversion and every time someone hit that page during the campaign that was triggered and that was calculated and it was factored into here and again you can track it all it's all broken up by the same all of this information that you put in here is traceable through all the different components of Google Analytics and there's some other really cool stuff in here too again that's the goals I, I love I love being able to set goals and you can set opt-ins I mean the goals can be an opt-in a sale an upgrade time on site it doesn't just have to be you know go to a website you can you can set goals like if they've been at, at the site for or on a certain page for a certain period of time you can have a goal trigger and you can set the amounts for anything they don't have to be a dollar amount it's really quite cool it's Google Analytics is definitely worth spending an afternoon going through their their fact their frequently asked questions and, and just quickly learning how to use it it is extremely powerful just some of the other cool things see and again here's the uh, this is the reverse set so so now it's looking at each one of those goals and it's reversing the path so I can trace back because I was actually split testing this is you can see there's different URLs this was a, a sales funnel for this solo ad campaign and I had multiple landing pages multiple opt-in pages and all of this stuff was rotating and being split test so once it's over if you're gonna run another campaign I can go back and quickly analyze what worked what didn't work and figure out what converted the best and then go with that set Again, that's. I just wanted to show you the funnel visu visual. Oh, see the yeah. goal flow, and you see, and you can get all these goals. See, so you can see the flow from from where it came from to watching the video to purchase. I mean, it's really awesome. It's really powerful. It's it's and it's for a free tool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you because I, I I think this is something most people don't even realize is even in here. So let me just pick a bigger date range. This is really cool. Okay, so if you you pick your site, you go in, and now what we're gonna go to, let me just close these so it's easier to see. Okay, so we're gonna go to content, you're gonna go to site content, and you're gonna go to all pages, 
Sorry, I had to look. I forgot for a second. <laughs> All pages, and then you're going to go to in page. And you won't believe this, but what this is, is this is actually a heat map. I mean, there's a lot of tools out there that charge you for a heat map, right? Like they, um, I mean, I use, I use Visual Website Optimizer, so I shouldn't really speak. If you're going to spend money on any testing tool, go with Visual Website Optimizer. That's the one thing that I use. Um, they're wonderful. But again, most of the tools to get a heat map, you have to pay for them. I, I don't know of any free heat map tool. But once again, in Google Analytics, there's a free heat map tool, and that's what this is. So this is showing us where all the clicks are. See, 19%, 19% clicks below, showing you where all the clicks are for that certain period of time, that week or whatever it was, okay? And then you can change the color, too, and it will actually show you, like, a heat map. Now, of course, it's not the exact same heat map print, you know, that you can get from Crazy Egg and places like that. But again, it's free. So... If you don't have the money to spend, like if you if you're not making, if your business is not making five thousand dollars a month, there's no reason that you need to be spending money on a tool when you can use something like this. Especially when all this stuff is in there, you can optimize just fine using this using Google Analytics. So that's just what I wanted to show you. Remember to use use the URL builder, set up your links so you when you're running your campaigns or even when you're sending traffic to different sites you can track it back and you can kind of dissect what you're doing. I mean it makes a huge difference. I can't stress that enough. It makes a huge difference and it literally takes just a few minutes. You just gotta remember, set it up in advance, set your stuff up and then you can track it through everything and when you first set up your site, when you first add that JavaScript code to your site, remember to come in and set up your goals and define what a goal is, what an opt-in is, what a um, what a sale is, all that information. Because again, you can track; it's going to track all that. And within a few months, when you have some data, it'll be absolute gold for you. So essentially, that's just what I wanted to show you. I hope you found that useful. Dig in, give it a try. This is Andrew Hiddleston. Talk to you soon. Oh, my God.